Alright, you've set up your Simrad Argus radar at the boat show. All instructions were supplied. Um, the USB that uh, we're going to use to put in simulation mode should come to you already installed, as well as your tool pack for building the system. Uh, simply turn on your radar at the switch here. Allow a minute for it to warm up. You don't have to hit the power button here. Um, your radar will come on, but it'll be in night mode. If nothing comes on after a few minutes, just confirm that you're on the right setting. By doing that, you can scroll across. We want to be on digital. Once you're on digital, you should have the radar display. It comes up in night mode. If you want to switch to day mode, simply hit system day night. And now we're in day mode. So what we're going to do is bring the radar into simulation mode. Um, first of all, we want to put the sea state on sea state 5. So hover over, click the middle button above mouse, select sea state 5. Then bring that up to about 50%. There's two ways of doing this. Hover over and then you use your left and right key to bring up to 50%. Or over here, simply come to C and use plus and minus. Don't worry about the gain and the rain for now. After that, come up to menu, click menu, down the bottom is radar configuration. Click radar configuration. First thing we're going to do is go into antenna settings and just confirm that the height's at 35 meters. It should be preset to that, but in case there's been changes, it has to go back to 35 meters. Click accept. The next thing we do is go into the debug menu left click on debug and then we're going to select special features and left click. It's going to come up with a little keyboard and ask you for a password. The password is debug D E B U G enter. Okay after we hit enter we want the scan files to appear here obviously they haven't appeared so once again click special features and type in the password debug. Um, you normally have to do this two times. And then enter. Okay, so the scan files appeared. Left click on scan file. We now select what sort of simulation we want to go. We're just going to do 5x for now. Left click on 5x. Then we're going to go down and left click on load scan. This takes a little bit of time, just uh, bear with it while it loads. Just remember that when, um, when you've chosen this scan and you want to change to a different scan, you'll have to restart the system. Um, when you try and bring in another scan, the system can just go black. So bear in mind when you want to change it to turn off the system and start again. Uh, each time you turn on the system, you'll have to go through this process to bring it into a simulation mode. Once it's loaded, just simply hover over play scan and left click. Okay, this is running now. So now we can uh, bring up our rings if we want, and we can also adjust the range. Once you've got your range that you want to work on, obviously you can adjust your, uh, your gain and your rain. Uh, once again, two options. If you ho hover over rain and click middle, it'll, it'll uh, select auto. If you want to manually tune, uh, use left and right here or over here. So we'll increase that a little. And then with your gain, the same thing, hover over. You can use left or right or adjust it over at your gain buttons here. Um, once you're comfortable with that, obviously you can bring in a few extra, extra modes, but uh, I'm sure you guys will learn all this. You can bring in your log simulator and your gyro simulator and any other options you want. We'll just start with them too. We can adjust our speed up to 15 knots if we want to. 15.7 it is, and we can also make our heading via the gyro at 5.7 degrees. So that's all running now. The rest is a full simulator, so get in, explore, and enjoy. Cheers.